I came in 1937 to go to school. It was an English boarding school, but for refugee children. And I hated it. I felt cold, I felt miserable. I missed being at, at home, of which I'd been already to a boarding school in Germany. I still went back to Germany to see my parents in 1938. And then in, in November, there was Kristallnacht and everything changed. So the Germans threatened to put me into a concentration camp, but they let me in and they let me out again. And then in 39, I met my husband the night before war broke out, and he was interned as an enemy alien in 1940, May 1940, and was interned until June 41. I came back to England and then really the, the, the war was very bad. I mean, England was, London was bombed very badly, but I was very lucky. I never evacuated. And in 1942, we got married because it looked as if it would be a finish of Hitler. So we married and lived in Hampstead. And in 1945, our daughter was born. And from then on, well, I was a married woman. And, and in 51 was the Festival of Britain, which we absolutely adored. We loved it. it. The first time I went to the first festival was with my husband, and we were both absolutely thrilled by it. It was so forward-looking, it was so hopeful, it made you forget so many of the bleak times you had gone through the war, and I with my life before the war, and it was so fantastic and gave such a hope to for the next generation and the thought that my children would grow up in a country which was so liberal. It was apparently raining a lot. I don't remember that. I only remember the sunny days and the thrill to go there and look at things and, and see things which one liked. Well, I remember the, the one sculpture when we came out of the tube in Waterloo Station. It was a sculpture with big trays and, and water spurted out and fell onto the next tray and that fell down and there was this wonderful stream of water going down and if and when there was sun it was caught and you had the rainbow colors and that was just wonderful. And then there was the Skylon, the different pavilions, the lion and the unicorn with all those doves floating from the ceiling. So we really went a lot and <laughs> I still have the day my whole dinner and tea set is still from the one we saw in the, it was called the Riverside Restaurant. And there they served sort of everything. Anyway, it was after rationing, it was wonderful. You could eat in restaurants and all that. Uh, and there they had the Wedgwoods Edme. And I fell in love with it. And I ordered it and I'm still using it to this day. Day after the Festival of Britain, they did an auction or they did a sale, and my husband bought the dove, which has now flown back to the Festival of Britain's <laughs> exhibition. We hung the dove with a gold and a mother of pearl mobile. And when there's a draft, then it tinkles, you see, which is lovely. So when I'm downstairs or anywhere and I go up, come up the staircase, then I see the dove. And that reminds me of the Festival of Britain. <laughs> the war was won, Hitler was dead, and all these horrendous memories I have and had, they flew away, they didn't fly away, but they, in a way, the doves carried them away, you know. So. That was a wonderful thing, and that's the lasting thought of the Festival of Britain, that it was so forward-looking and so hopeful.